Hi everybody. It's been a little bit since I've done a video. Pardon my fingernails. Um, I tried to find a place here in my in the house that I could film. Uh, I don't have very good lighting and um, I had to cover the surface. But today I'm going to do a quick flip through of the Lush term that I finished before I moved into the Midori MD. I think I already did this flip through, but um, it was combined in another video, so I'm just going to flip through it again real fast for you. I hope that's okay. So I was in this notebook from the 10th to the 29th, and I, I believe this notebook has had to have come from a bad batch. There's all the pens and inks that I used in there and I really found that I didn't enjoy using hardly any of my pens and inks because the paper was just so bad. Um, now I've written in loose terms before where the paper was nice and it was a pleasant enjoyable experience and I enjoyed you know the entire notebook so I've had that experience before but I've also used two loose terms that the paper was horrendous and overly toothy to the feel, you know, on your hands. Oh, I was eating, I, I just made a note that my husband bought bolut, which is, um, it's a Filipino street food. It's, it's a baby duck in an egg, a fertilized baby duck in an egg, and you eat it, so don't judge me. It's a Filipino thing, and I ate it, and it was good. Um, I'm showing the sheen on the paper now, but this notebook just, it did not give me any joy. That was a little kind of fun little card thing that one of my daughters made for me that I tipped in. Um, I found that I really didn't want to write and it, it hindered my enjoyment of journaling. Um, it's my granddaughter and a picture of our family on Easter. Uh, we did an Easter egg hunt in the backyard, which was kind of fun. Um, my pens misbehaved, my inks were not fun. This whole notebook was just a shoddy experience for me this time. And I had mentioned that in a previous video that I just didn't enjoy writing in it this time. My mother-in-law got me a, a, a lotto ticket there. Uh, we didn't win, just, you know, we didn't win. <laughs> Um, but I did, you know, keep going. I, I went as long as I could possibly go in this journal. Um, I had sort of promised myself at the beginning of the year that I wouldn't abandon any more journals, but I just was not enjoying this journal at all. I, I feel like my journaling has to be something that my heart is into, and my heart was just not into this notebook at all. Um, so you'll see in just a little bit as I go through and continue to flip through that I move on to another journal. That was a new pen day. I got a Sailor Pro Gear Slim in Megetsu. Um, and it felt horrible on this paper too. I know Sailor nibs are known to be a bit feedbacky and scratchy. So I'm sure that probably didn't help, but that was my experience with this that notebook and this pen. I haven't used that pen again in my current journal, and I don't think I used it in my Midori MD that uh, I used after this. I don't think I've used it since this journal. Um... So I have to tell you, I've tried to record this several times and each time I had to stop because there's nowhere 
in this house to go to be quiet and alone. So I'm currently sitting outside on the back patio um, that's actually being converted into a room. I have, it's like halfway done, and there are several lizards that have sort of stayed in here all around me. And so they're having fun. So here is my Midori MD notebook, and it was covered by the lovely Nikki from Wabi Sabi Stationers. It is an absolutely glorious, like the, the covering and the work that she did on this notebook was just so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If you've not uh, seen her work before, you need to go onto Instagram and look up Wabi Sabi Stationers and follow her. She does an amazing job on these notebooks, and she can take a notebook that's otherwise not special and make it so special. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. So, there's my list of pens and inks that I used in this journal, which I always do in the beginnings of my journals. And I was in that journal from the 29th to, I want to say, the 16th or the 17th of May. Um, the current journal that I'm in, I started on the 17th. But it was a lot of predominantly writing, which is of course what I do. I'm sorry I can't give you the cards of the ink swatches. Um, I have not unpacked those yet. And um, so I apologize for that. We went blueberry picking at a place here locally called Aunt Selma's, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I got some new washi from um, Anamoya, and so I've been using that. Um, I had to use, in this notebook, I had to use a guide that goes behind your paper so that you can write straight. Um, sometimes I used the wider lines, Sometimes I used the, the, smaller, the smaller width. There's some sheening. And these were some new inks that I got. I was interested in trying out some sheening inks, so I made an order on Van Ness. And those were the inks that I got. I really enjoyed Robert Ostry's Hickory Aflame. However, it clogged up my pen that I was using. But it's isn't that beautiful. It is so pretty. So I have I have plans to try it in another pin when it comes up again on my rotation. Um, just more writing. A little bit of decoration on the pages. I went to the park with my daughters, and while they were playing, I did some watercoloring, and so that was fun. More writing, a little bit of washi to decorate things. I have found that I've, I'm craving more. I want to decorate my journal more, more. I want it to be like pretty and aesthetic, but like a minimal aesthetic. Um, I'm trying to use up the items that I have already before choosing to buy any more. This was Mother's Day. And both of my daughters made me beautiful cards. So I put them in my journal, as I usually do. And the rose petal and baby's breath there were from a bouquet of roses that my mother-in-law brought home for the two of us. <laughs> um, those were notes from a video that I did. And look at that. On the that, that was on a package of ice cream bars. That poor girl. And the reason why I pulled it off was because she looks awkward. And I looked awkward when I was that age too. Like she reminded me of how I used to look. But I just, I saw her face and I thought she needs to go in my journal. Um, I was gifted a real Pilot Custom 823. There's actually a very long and very beautiful story about that which I will make and I will make another video of I'll talk about that in another video 
Um, but I was extremely blessed and I was blessed by a anonymous benefactor. I know who this lovely person is, but this person has asked to remain anonymous. I cannot, I can't even begin to tell you right now everything that this person sent to me, but I will do a video soon and I will show you and I will talk about it because it, um, it rocked my world and I am incredibly grateful, just overwhelmed, still very overwhelmed at this person's generosity and kindness. Um, you can see a list there. It says notebooks. Yeah, I've got a lot to tell you guys about, um, which will come in another video soon. Up oh, and there's a crow in the backyard. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let you listen to quiet for a little bit. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just keep talking a little bit. Some people, some of you guys say you don't mind me chatting. Um, so maybe I'll just chat a little bit more. I tried a lot of different inks, new inks in this journal. Um, and I, I loved them all. At the top, I was writing... Uh, the pen that I was using and the Pilot Custom 83, I have not, this, this pen, since I got it, uh, this month, the beginning of this month, this pen has been inked up with a full capacity fill four times. I'm on my fourth fill right now. It has been, oh, look, there's the, there's the gator. I painted a Florida gator. Um, I have not been without this pen. I've used this pen every single day, multiple times per day, and I'm on my fourth fill. I never, ever, ever thought that I would own a Pilot Custom 823, and now I do, and it is hands down by far my absolutely favorite pen. Um, and I'll do a video on that in the future. If there's any interest, at all, there's hundreds of videos out there about the Pilot Custom 823, um, but hundreds of videos that can't tell you why I love it. So maybe I'll do that video if there's any interest. This was some Poisseau de Lune that I got from Van Ness, and this was just more writing. As you guys know, I am a predominantly writing journaler. But like I said, I do want to like learn to collage a little bit and make my pages a little bit, some of my pages a little bit prettier. I still predominantly, you know, want my journals to be writing, but I find that lately I just want to turn my page and look at something really pretty while I'm journaling. It doesn't even have to be anything to do with what I'm journaling. I just want to look at, you know, something nice. So here on this page, I was ranting about how much I did not like this paper or, or ink. This I've decided over the years of being in fountain pens and inks, um, I'm not a blue ink girl. I have a couple that I will use, but for the most part, no. That is the end of the Midori MD notebook. I didn't finish it. Um, I did move on from it because I found that I wasn't quite enjoying that paper too. And now what I am currently in right now is an A6 in this unbelievable Hobonichi zipper cover that was gifted to me by the same anonymous penefactor. And I'm in a Wonderland 222 A6 notebook with Tomo River paper. And spoiler alert, I am loving it. And um, I hope you will tune in to my next uh, flip through of my next of my current journal. And I hope you enjoyed this chatty little video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.